Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem of x plus y is equal to 12, xy is equal to 22. To find the values of x and y from these two systems of equations. So first, we start by letting this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Now, in the first step from equation 1, which is this x plus y is equal to 12, we will make y the subject, so we will take x to the right side. So it will be y is equal to 12 minus x. Then in the next step, from equation 2, where as equation 2 it is this x, y is equal to 22. Now from here we substitute y, which is this y is equal to 12 minus x. So it will be x times y, we substitute this, which is 12 minus x bracket is equal to 22 then here to be x times 12 it is 12 x x times negative x is negative x square is equal to 22 then in the next step we'll start by this negative x square then plus this 12 x we'll take 22 to this side so to be minus 22 is equal to 0 then in the next step, here this negative x square will make this positive. So we'll divide by, so here divide by negative 1 in both in this side and in this side. So negative x squared divided by negative 1 is positive x square. 12x divided by negative 1 is negative 12x. Negative 22 divided by negative 1, it is positive 22 is equal to 0 divided by negative 1, it is 0. Then from this quadratic equation, we'll solve this by using quadratic formula. So from quadratic formula, to find the values of x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So it will be x is equal to negative b. b is coefficient of x, which is negative 12 then plus or minus square root of b square it will be negative 12 bracket square then minus 4 times a it is 1 times c is 22 then over 2 times a it is 1 then it will be x is equal to negative negative 12 to be it is positive 12 then plus or minus square root of negative 12 square is positive 144 negative 4 times 22 is negative 88 then over this time this is 2 so it will be x is equal to 12 plus or minus square root of this minus this so it will be 14 minus 8 it is 6 then it will be 13 minus 8, it is 5. Then over this 2. Then it will be x is equal to 12 plus or minus. From this square root of 56, 56 it is 8 times 7. Now from 8, 8 is, so for 8 times 7 is 56. Now 8 is same as 4 times 2, then times this 7. Because 4, it is, you can find the square root of 4. So it will be 4, so square root of 4, then times 2 is prime, 7 is prime. So 2 times 7 is 14. So 4 times 14 is 56. Then over this 2. Then it will be x is equal to 12 plus or minus square root of 4, it is 2 times this square root of 14. Then we divide by 2 in this part and in this part. So it will be x is equal to 12 divided by 2, it is 6, plus or minus 2 and 2 will cancel, so it will be plus or minus square root of 14. So from here we have two values of x. So the first, the first value of x is equal to when it is positive it will be 6 plus square root of 14 and the second value of x is equal to 
when it is negative it is 6 minus square root of 14 so 6 minus square root of 14 then in the next step to find the values of y from here first solution and this second solution we'll recall from here into this first step y it is 12 minus x so from y is equal to 12 minus x and here y is equal to 12 minus x then it will be here this is x1 so to find y1 is equal to 12 minus x x here will substitute this so to be bracket 6 plus square root of 14 bracket so it will be y1 is equal to 12 we we'll take negative inside so it will be minus 6 here it will be minus square root of 14 so it will be y1 is equal to 12 minus 6 is 6 then minus square root of 14 so from this first solution we have this value of x1 y1 x1 is 6 plus square root of 14 and y1 is 6 minus square root of 14 so x1 comma y1 is equal to x1 is 6 plus square root of 14 y1 is 6 minus square root of 14 so this is the solution for the first the value of x comma x1 comma y1 for the first solution then for this second solution here this is x2 to find y2 y2 is equal to 12 minus x x we substitute this so 6 minus square root of 14 then it will be y2 is equal to 12 we we'll take negative inside the bracket so it will be minus 6 here it will be plus square root of 14 then it will be y2 is equal to 12 minus 6 is 6 plus square root of 14 then for here we have x2 this is value of x2 this is value of y2 so x2 comma y2 is equal to x2 it is 6 minus square root of 14 so 6 minus square root of 14 comma y2 it is 6 plus square root of 14 so this is the solution for the second solution x2 comma y2 so the interchange this value of x for the first solution it is the value of y for the second solution value of y for the first solution it is the value of x for the second solution now let's check we'll check for one solution this first solution here now from our problem which is x plus y is equal to 12 and x times y is equal to 22 now from here by using this first solution here x plus y x it is this so 6 plus square root of 14 then plus y it is this 6 minus square root of 14 so square root of 14 minus square root of 14 will cancel so it will be 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 then for the second solution it will be x times y to give 22 x it is this so 6 plus square root of 14 bracket times y it is this 6 minus square root of 14 now from here 6 plus square root of 14 6 minus square root of 14 is in the form of a plus b bracket bracket a minus b bracket which is equal to a square plus b square sorry a square minus b square difference of two squares so it will be a square is this 6 square so 6 square minus b square to be square root of 14 square so square root of 14 square then 6 square it is 36 minus b square to cancel square so to be minus 14 now 36 minus 14 is equal to 22 which is this here so it proves that for the first solution it is correct also you can check for the second solution it will always be correct thank you for watching don't forget these steps
to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye